Hello everybody and welcome back to another Doctor Who Vinyl Record product review. In today's review I'm going to be taking a look at the latest release from Silver Screen Records and it is in fact the 2022 re-release of the Doctor Who original television soundtrack for Series 1 from 2005 and Series 2 from 2006. So this is in fact a rather exciting record re-release as this originally came out quite a number of years ago with a black LP finish. This latest version, as you can quite obviously see, a lovely vibrant transparent orange. This release is available to order now from the Silver Screen official website as well as a number of other online retailers. Now I am in fact rather lucky as I do in fact own the original black variation of this record so there will be a little bit of a comparison later on within this review. However, just to get one thing out of the way immediately, basically contents wise this record is exactly the same. The same also applies to the artwork that on the front cover as well as the inner gatefold sleeve. However, there is a few very minor differences on the cover art itself and then of course the most obvious difference is the finish on the LP now being a completely different colour. This record re-release has in fact seen a number of production runs already. Early in 2022 there was a first production run of this transparent orange re-release. However, due to high demand it sold out incredibly quickly. However, in September of 2022 Silver Screen have in fact launched a second re-release. So I imagine if you're somebody who does want to get this record, I advise getting it soon because no doubt this will once again sell out considerably quickly. Now one of the first things which makes the 2022 version of this soundtrack a little bit different to the original release is the way that the record has been packaged. Now I do believe that this soundtrack is available to order directly from Silver Screen. I do believe that earlier this year Amazon also had stock of the orange version as well. So I do believe that this is solely an online release. So subsequently Silver Screen have decided, as this band states here, to ditch the shrink wrap design. This is of course a good way to cut down on useless plastic, although it does of course mean that perhaps the record isn't as protected as it usually would be if it was in shrink wrap. So I do recommend definitely ordering this from Silver Screen uh, rather than the likes of Amazon because I know they can be a little bit questionable when it comes to their packaging when delivering records online. So we do have this wrapping here, it's basically a band which holds the record together uh, because this is a double gate full sleeve, so it does nicely keep the records in place. Rather oddly for this release of the Doctor Who original television soundtrack for Doctor Who series 1 and 2, one of its biggest selling points is the fact that it remains quite unchanged to the original television soundtrack released many, many years ago. So as a result, we have the return of this lovely Russell T Davies era house style with lots of those designs that we've seen across a lot of Doctor Who merchandise between the years of 2005 and 2010, meaning for me as a Doctor Who fan who grew up in that period, very much like no doubt quite a lot of you watching this review, this product does definitely give me that sense of nostalgia and going back in time as if I was purchasing a product from my childhood, so it does have some very fond memories. Of course, most notably, we in fact have the inclusion of the Russell T Davies era Doctor Who logo, which hasn't really been used on a piece of merchandise, at least new merchandise, in quite a number of years. So we have it in its lovely fiery glory with all the oranges and reds. Just above this we have the BBC logo with that white finish really standing out on that dark blue background. Now something that I find quite interesting, although it's probably quite sad to quite a number of you, is that earlier this year the BBC did in fact change their logo and it has now an ever so slightly different font and spacing between the letters. Note that this is the older version of the BBC logo, so again they are very much keeping exactly the same style to the product that was released all those years ago. And speaking of retaining fonts, just below the Doctor Who logo, we also have the original television soundtrack in that lovely typeface associated with quite a lot of the Russell T Davies era Doctor Who merch. This font is also present at the bottom of the cover art as it states that we have music by Murray Gold with the BBC National Orchestra of Wales conducted and orchestrated by Ben Foster and the album does of course include the brilliant songs known as Song for Ten and Love Don't Roam as performed by Neil Hannon, which are my personal favourite tracks in fact on this album and I love the fact that they've been released on record. 
Due to this record not being wrapped in cellophane when it was produced, one of the biggest changes for this record overall can be seen here at the very top of the cover art where we have a black silver screen record sticker stating that this is the Doctor Who soundtrack by Murray Gold and most crucially that this is the transparent orange coloured vinyl release, of course the 2022 release, unlike the original version which was a regular black record. So this is in fact just a sticker which has been put onto the record sleeve. So if you really don't like it, I suppose you could risk it and take it off. However, if you're someone who likes collecting records, I imagine you'll probably keep this on for that sake of difference. As for the actual cover art itself, it is relatively simplistic, however quite effective. I do believe that there was two different versions of this cover art, one of which, the one here with David Tennant on the front as a Tenth Doctor reaching out with some very Peter Capaldi-esque handwork there, and then there's also the alternative version which has Rose Tyler on the cover as well. Now this is exactly the same cover art that featured on the original record. It is a relatively simplistic cover art, there really isn't too much going on of course with the Tenth Doctor being the focal image of the piece showing off the Series 2 outfit quite nicely with that darker shirt and the Tenth Doctor looking very serious indeed. The cover art as well is striking. I think that if you are someone who likes to display your records as opposed to keeping them in a collector's case, I know you can get kind of cover artwork frames now. I think this will look great in a frame. Again, very nostalgic, especially if you grew up with the Tenth Doctor era. Of course, when you look closely at the background, there is actually quite a lot going on. We have lots of repeating patterns of Gallifreyan text. With this rather stone effect applied, you can kind of see that here in particular, making the Gallifreyan text almost look like it's rough and has texture or something, like it's been written down. It's a little bit like those little post-its that usually surround the TARDIS scanner. It is a little bit darker towards this side of the cover art, but we have the lovely blue glowing time vortex, of course, from the opening of the Tenth Doctor stories there towards the opposite side. Now that we've taken a look at the front cover artwork, let's flip the record over and take a look at the back. Now again, it is pretty much exactly the same story, and if you've got the original version of this record, then you will find this very familiar, because it is exactly the same. Just for the sake of clarity, at the very top of the track list, it does state that as well as featuring the Series 1 and 2 soundtrack, this album does also contain the music for the 2005 and 2006 Christmas specials. This is of course a double LP release, meaning overall there is from size A to D. So zooming in to take a look at some of these tracks, no doubt if you've watched new series Doctor Who on a regular basis, like I have basically since the age of five, then no doubt looking at some of these names you will instantly be able to recall some of these excellent soundtracks in your mind. The likes of Westminster Bridge from Rules, the Doctor's theme, that is in fact the ninth Doctor's theme, uh, so it's lovely to have some of those early Doctor Who music scores on here from the revival, Slovene, Boomtown, I'm Coming to Get You, a really heroic soundtrack, of course the TV version of the Doctor Who theme, and then of course we also have on the opposite side some of my personal favourite pieces, the likes of Song for Ten as performed by Neil Hannon, and also one of my other favourites in the entirety of Doctor Who history, Madame de Pompadour, which has a very special place in my heart because it was the first ever Doctor Who episode that I watched. So now we move down to the second record on this collector set, so we have side C and side D, and this features a little bit less uh, compared to the first record, however we do have some of those big soundtracks in there for the reoccurring villains of the series, the likes of the Daleks and the Cybermen, again instantly just saying those names instantly brings the music to my mind, and then another one of my personal favourites from this side is the Impossible Planet, an excellent two-parter, and then of course the album overall concludes with the brilliant Love Don't Roam, again another highlight, I honestly when I originally purchased the black record of this, uh, that was the sole reason why I purchased this record, because it's a great song, and then finally the album concludes again with the Doctor Who theme, but this time the extended album version. Overall, for the tracks and content featured on this double LP, I honestly cannot fault it, and I think that that is entirely my childhood bias in there, because so much of this music is really heavily ingrained into my mind, having watched these episodes time and time again, so if you're somebody who grew up with this era, I imagine this will be a great treat to listen to on record. All of the company details are hidden away at the very bottom, so on one side we have the Silver Screen Records logo, as well as the BBC logo. And then on the opposite side, we have the barcode and further company details. 
Ensuring that the orange text stands out, of course, once again, we have the continuation of that darker blue background. Although, if you do look closely, we do have the subtle inclusion of further Gallifreyan text and weird circular scribbles. So this product is of course a double LP release and it has been presented with a lovely git fold sleeve so opening it up we are greeted by lots of text on this side and then we also have lots of pictures but overall the background again is really homing in on that Russell T Davies era vibe with the TARDIS time vortex there with the blues and the blacks and the reds and the pinks up there towards the top. It's also a really subtle inclusion of this text in the background there which is again ingrained in my mind but I can't quite recall where it's from. I have a feeling it's not Gallifreyan, I might be wrong at that, it might be just from a random episode that I've watched multiple times. For some reason I want to say the text from the end of the world, but I could be completely wrong. But again, we have lots of lovely pictures here, which really remind me of the old Doctor Who official website, especially this picture here of the Slovene. I'm pretty sure that was one of the first ever images i actually seen of Doctor Who, as well as this lovely picture of Novice Home there, with the New Earth Hospital in the background. The rest of the sleeve has lots of lovely text, including a little bit of an intro from Julie Gardner, as well as some music notes from Murray Gold himself. I really do like when records do this because it allows you to read about the music whilst listening to it as the vinyl turns on your turntable, but also at the same time it allows us to get into the minds of the composer and basically the decisions that they make when creating this music as it is essentially a portfolio of work and I think this is a really lovely presentation of the things that he's achieved through this album. So for those of you who collect Doctor Who records and have perhaps had the original in your collection for a number of years, this is the most exciting bit as we get to take a look at the new 2022 version of this soundtrack release. Now very much like the original, sadly we don't have any internal artwork on the sleeve that the record is housed in. This is something that I've kind of got very used to with the Demon Music Group series, so it may have been nice, not even anything too special, maybe just a sleeve that had the Doctor Who logo on, or the Vortex or something like that, but instead we just have this regular record white paper sleeve. Of course that little hole in the middle there so you can see what the record actually is. And then of course as we slide the the record out we have the main thing about the 2022 version and that is the fact that it has my hair colour. Um, it is this lovely vibrant orange design. Now the choice to make this record a lovely transparent orange is a brilliant idea because naturally it glows that same vibrant shade that the logo for the show also did during this time period so it's a great choice and again it's a bit more visually striking compared to the original just regular black release. As always of course you do have that lovely novel tube of records where you can see the little sound waves there shimmering in the light. It is ever so slightly transparent, it's not the most transparent of records, you can probably just make out the shadow there of my hand underneath and of course the opposite side is exactly the same. But yes this is a really lovely colour and again if you have the original version I suppose it depends how much you like collecting records um, but you may want to double dip and get this one simply for variety. At the very centre of the record you do of course get the usual sticker again this follows a rather 2005 style guide where we have this lovely darker blue background the text of course underneath this the same company details silver screen the side of the record as well as some lovely Gallifreyan text picked out in a rather vibrant almost cyan colour. Up around to the opposite side it basically does the reverse of colours so this time have the darker colour around the band but a great touch is we also have the individual tracks running around the side of the sticker making it nice to flip between the different tracks if you've got a particular one that you want to listen to. So very quickly doing a brief comparison to the original release of the series 1 and 2 soundtrack on vinyl it is basically exactly the same products that we've been taking a look at throughout this review so far even to the extent of flipping around to the back here we have exactly the same tracks once again presented and of course on the inside we have the same details presented once again but the main difference is on the inside. Records presented within the original record release from Silver Screen are in fact a much less exciting and vibrant regular black record. We have no additional splatter detailing on this or anything like that, but it is just a regular record. So if you do have this original version, of course it is quite collectible because it is a different colour, but of course the contents remains the same. 
have in fact had this record in my collection for quite a number of years and there was a shop on eBay selling quite a substantial amount of stock and I think that they were direct from the factory so they were brand new unplayed they just weren't wrapped in cellophane and I ended up purchasing one and then after a few months I reviewed it and then it went out of stock and since then it actually skyrocketed in price and it was in fact quite unusual because even though there was quite a large amount of stock on eBay I could never actually recall the record in its black version being sold in normal retailers and I've obviously I've been collecting Doctor Who merch for quite a number of years I don't know if it's just slipped from my memory but I could not recall it being sold anywhere apart from that shop on eBay so yeah god knows I don't know if it was in store I don't know where you could purchase it originally but it's nice to see it released again and hopefully we will see more new series records in the future. The thing with products like this is I don't think you're necessarily purchasing the record for the actual contents, as if it's hidden behind a pear wall or something like that, because you can very easily, with just a few clicks, basically find the entirety of this album on YouTube for free, and you can listen to it as much as you want. But naturally, of course, that's just a digital version, and people like to have things physically still, and in particular with the likes of records, of course, as always, by having something on record, it's a completely different listening experience. And I know for a fact, although I'm at university at the minute, I know that when I'm at home, I do listen to the original version of this. I've listened to it many times because it's an incredibly soothing soundtrack, but also very dramatic and it unlocks lots of memories from my childhood listening to these rather exciting episodes of Doctor Who for the first time so I really do recommend this if you are a fan of collecting Doctor Who vinyls I would dare say it is in fact like an essential purchase it is definitely one of my favourite Doctor Who records ever um, be it in the black version or this lovely transparent orange variation for those lucky Doctor Who fans who do indeed already have the black record variation of this product then it is merely the case of how much do you like vinyl? Do you want to double dip? Do you want to have this on translucent orange? It's completely down to you. I imagine if you are an avid collector of Doctor Who records that will be a very easy decision to make but ultimately at the same time if you do have that original version and you're a little bit strapped for cash essentially all you will be purchasing here is exactly the same products that you already own but with a transparent orangey finish as opposed to the regular black. So yes it just depends how much do you like records? Do you like the orange version that much to the extent of double dipping? And for me personally, I, I, I love Doctor Who records and I definitely recommend it. So there we have it, that is my review of the Doctor Who original television soundtrack for Doctor Who series 1 and 2. Overall an excellent record with some brilliant music and I highly recommend adding it to your Doctor Who record collection. So thank you very much for watching this review, I really hope you have enjoyed it. Do of course stay tuned on Lost Productions for regular Doctor Who content. Have a nice day, I shall see you all next time.